So the bass, the lowest string instrument. Another personal antidote. My father, Alfred Newman, was head of music at 20th Century Fox from 1939 to 1959. And he had a very interesting way of orchestrating the string orchestra. He was known for that orchestra and Alfred Newman were known for their string sound. But what he would do is he would use the bass as the bottom end of the orchestra. Generally, in a string section, the celli and the bass kind of share the bottom end part of the, of the bass. If you think of a, of a bass in a band, it would be the celli and the bass that would be the combination. But in, in this orchestra, the, in this style, the bass was the bottom so that it freed the cello to kind of move around in its baritone or tenor range to help blend and make the orchestration more interesting. Um, the Fox style, of course, was a style of a lot of inner lines. There was a melody and a lot of counter melodies. So there needed to be something kind of on the bottom that's holding it all together, holding the harmony, the fundamental pitch of the harmony together. And that was the bass in that orchestra. It's definitely worth checking out some of the 30, uh, 40s and 50s Fox film scores, say Song of Bernadette or Diary of Anne Frank, um, or the UA film Weathering Heights, then you can hear that style of the bass being responsible for the bottom end of the orchestra. So let's hear some more about the bass. As with the smaller relatives, the construction of the double bass is based on a body made out of spruce and maple. The neck and the scroll is a single piece of maple and the fretless fingerboard is made of ebony. The strings can be made from cut steel or nylon wound with steel, silver, or aluminum. The strings are tuned in E1, A1, D2, G2. The five-string double bass has an additional low C string, which within about the last 30 years has come to be tuned half a tone lower to B minus one. The shoulders of the double bass are more curved than the shoulders of the violin, viola, or cello. The bow is even shorter than the bow of the cello or violin. Therefore, it is thicker and heavier than the others. With the rosin coating the horsehair, the friction on the string is even higher. Producing a tone on the bass is similar to the other instruments in the string section. The strings are played with the bow or plucked with the fingers. The vibrating string will be amplified by the body. The double bass logically assumes the function of the deep supporting bass instrument. Like with all string instruments, short or long accompaniment notes for an almost unlimited time can be played. The bass is very rarely used as a melody instrument and is really mostly used for accompaniment. When a melody is played, it is usually in octaves with the cello in polyphonic phrases. Solos, however, are rare. For example, Mahler Symphony No. 1 slow movement. Johann Sebastian Bach describes the double bass as the bass's grounding, a very fitting picture. Of course, you can also play the double bass very quietly like all other strings. Although the double bass is heavier than the other strings, you can play very fast passages on it, but only over smaller distances and shorter time. Famous example is the beginning of the fifth movement of Mahler's second symphony. The 
range of the double bass is from B0 to G4, or B minus one to G3, after the MIDI definition used in our sampled instruments. Basically, we differentiate between left hand and right hand techniques. Moving the left hand while holding a note produces slight variations in pitch and volume. This technique is called vibrato. There are different stages of intensity. Non-vibrato produces a flat and expressionless tone. The very common poco vibrato is the most used one in 2D passages, and vibrato espressivo is used for solos or melodic lines. By changing the bow direction on every single note without leaving the strings, the notes can be separated without sounding short which is what we call détaché. A series of short strokes is called a staccato. There are the strong staccato, where the bow rests on the string between the strokes, and the flying staccato where the bow is lifted from the string between the notes. Spiccato is really détaché for short notes, where the bow changes direction on every note. This technique produces a jumping of the bow due to its elasticity. This technique is produced by bouncing the bow two or three times on the string, Usually it is used in chords or accompaniment figures and only played in piano or mezzo piano dynamics. In ricochet, the player throws the bow on the string and the bow jumps several times bouncing off the string. It can be used for playing just a single note several times or to play a scale. Every played note is very short if the bow is thrown stronger on the string, the ricochet is slow. If it's thrown with less power, it can be very fast. When we play near the bridge of the instrument, a brighter, more glassy, shrill, and thin tone will be produced. This is called ponticello. It sounds scary, very cold and can be played from pianissimo to fortissimo. Soltasto is the opposite of ponticello technique. This is where the string is played near the fingerboard. A warmer and softer sound is produced. The dynamic is limited here up to a warm forte. When any open string is played while a finger touches it lightly on one of its nodes, where partial vibrations are developed, the corresponding overtone appears creating natural harmonics. This effect can be produced artificially as well by playing a note, touching the string on the right spot simultaneously. It can be played from pianissimo to mezzo forte.
If the string is plucked with a single finger instead of using a bow stroke, that is called pizzicato. For the Bartok pizzicato, the string is plucked harder with two fingers, so the string bounces against the fingerboard. The sound is more percussive than the regular pizzicato and has a buzzing nature to it. Pizzicato can be played from pianissimo to forte, Bartok pizzicato from mezzo forte up to fortissimo. I hope you enjoyed this video about the bass. Please come back for more.